Let's start with Jordan Brenner from KWVA Sports. Coach, I'm, I'm wondering how much thought has gone on between the coaches, everybody really affiliated with the program about the relationship with fans this year with, uh, you know, no fans obviously going to be allowed in the Jane, but I, I already see like Haley going on the, the Mighty Oregon podcast yesterday with the, the Facebook live event. Um, how, how do you how do you keep connecting with a fan base that is, you know, like one of the most passionate in the country about softball? Yes, we we love our fans and we love playing in front of them at the Jane and when we're on the road. I think on the road we travel extremely well and to not have them with us, it's going to be tough. I mean, we think of them as a part of our team, almost kind of like the 10th man. You know, they, they really help um, create momentum for us. Um, I think when you come and play at Oregon, it's a difficult, difficult venue to play because of our fans. So we've spoke about that a lot at practice and at times at practice when we are scrimmaging and we're split up into two, two teams, I'll constantly remind them, look at our stands. Do you see how they're empty? This is what it's going to look like in the spring. And there's plenty of times where we're, um, we're depending on our fans to help to create some momentum and we're not going to be able to do that this year. So they're going to have to really be aware and understand how to create momentum on their own, but we're, we're going to miss that part. We, the biggest thing that we're doing is just staying very, very positive and patient and hoping that some way <laughs> we'll get an opportunity to see them. And maybe it's going to be later in the year. We just kind of are holding on to that hope. Jonathan Acosta, KVAL. Coach, I'm sure uh, before every season, there's some sort of jitters, just some excitement uh, to get the season started. Um, but how do the, for all those years in the past, how does that compare to the jitters and excitement going into this season? Yeah, I, I agree. I think there are always some butterflies, some jitters. Um, and lots of times you feel that leading into the game and then uh, right before the game. But then I think once it's time to go, they'll be ready to go. Again, I think this team is a veteran team. Uh, we have some young new ones, uh, new athletes that, you know, they're going to feel some emotions and, and some nerves. But I think just the veterans on this team will be able to help them. And um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think if anything, you might feel more excitement from them than anything, just because they have been really, really waiting for a long time to play that I think that it's it's probably more of that than anything else. Maybe some jitters for our new ones, but I think the excitement, I think you'll feel more from our older. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Missy, what are you looking for uh, this weekend in, in particular, other than five wins? Are, are you looking to have answers? Uh, like in a big picture, how are you approaching it of, do you look ahead to a couple of weeks and you want to have answers over the next two weekends for those UCLA games or... Are those truly non-conference to you in that there's almost two months before the heart of the Pac-12 schedule, so you have more time to find some of these answers, or do you want to try to have answers here over the next 12 days? I think the biggest thing that I want to see more than anything is that our team as a whole, they get on the field and they settle. To me, if they can, the quicker they settle, the quicker I think those answers that you're uh, asking about, we can start to figure out what it's going to look like. This weekend, I'm looking forward to seeing different athletes get opportunities on defense and throughout the lineup and, and seeing what they can do with their opportunities. And from there, I just think, you know, we're going to take it one game at a time. But I think each weekend leads into the next weekend. So my, my hope and um, I, what I would expect is what we look like our first weekend. I think we should look better in our second weekend. And then each weekend, we're getting uh, better, um, more knowledge, you know, just you're starting to see things take shape each weekend. So I think more than anything, I just want them to settle and be excited and enjoy getting back on the field and playing together and, and doing what they love. So Jordan Brenner, KWVA. Coach, just uh, wondering what you see from Weber State, Grand Canyon, and Montana this weekend. I imagine every time they play a school like Oregon, it's it's, it's almost, you know, it, it's one that they mark on their calendar uh, and it's underlined. Yeah, we've, we've been uh, preparing for all three teams and we've gotten to watch games on them. And they, um, 
they all swing the bat well at the plate. Uh, they're very aggressive on the base path. They all have good pitching, uh, whether it's up or down. So um, I would tell you that we're for the most part, pretty versed on them. You know, we have that they have new athletes that we haven't got to see that we're going to see once the games begin. But um, no, we're we're going into it excited and ready uh, to play each one of them. We're looking forward to it. James, we went through the uh, roster a little bit last week, Missy, but uh, just batting lineup wise, other than uh, obviously Haley at the top. Um, is there, are you expecting much by way of changes? Uh, obviously jazz isn't there, um, but basically if you go back to last year, is it more or less the same on paper or are you going to be uh, juggling some things up and, and shifting people around or is it, uh, is Tara and Rachel and, and bunk still kind of the, the meat of the order uh, with Haley up top? Yeah, I think, I think for the most part, you'll, those athletes that you mentioned, you should see them, um, from the top, moving down to the middle. I think once we get to the middle down, that's where we'll, um, you see some of these new athletes inserted. And then also, um, athletes that returned from last year that were spending some time down there. So I, I think a lot of it you will really see is very similar to last year. I just think with us having, uh, the athleticism and the depth, I think it gives us opportunity to to purposely mix some different thing combinations and see what it would look like. I remember uh, there was a while there that we didn't have Tara in the two spot and then we put her there and it just, um, we haven't moved, we hadn't moved her since. So I think just getting some different opportunities to, to create different looks with this team will allow us to see, you know, future wise, what it's going to end up looking like. So I, that's one thing I'm excited about is just the different combinations that we have um, and, and what it's going to look like this weekend. Any more questions for coach? Looks like that's all we have for you, coach. Good luck this weekend. All right. Thanks. I appreciate you guys.